Thank you all for being here. I'm now going to commence cutting out. Oh, we have a Sandy. We have a Sandy. Hi. Hello. Hello. So I was just uh, saying, we had uh, one of my friends, uh, Ryan Lynch, in here earlier with a picture of his whole team standing there at Arecibo. Uh, are you at the dish now? Could I am in my that? office, and it's kind. Of, the sun's kind of setting. Let me see yeah. if this Ethernet cable is long enough. Hold on just okay. one second. OK, I have a lower third. Let's make Woo. this work. <laughs> Sandy uh, works at Arecibo, which is uh, one of my favorite places on Earth that I've never been to, and so we kind of ask her to like show us the telescope out the window. Uh, we'll, we'll stop at some point. Uh, we'll <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. So let's see what we got. It's it's really dark out there, uh, so <laughs> you can't see too much. But it would look kind of like that picture that Ryan was showing us of of just the tiny little sub reflector. Up oh, at the we're just enough oh, further oh, oh. north. There we go. Roots. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. I see oh, it on the back. The, so there's yeah, the sub reflector there was, up there, yeah. uh, which uh, looks so tiny. But as Ryan was saying, a, a person would be tiny on the scale of that. So awesome sauce. Thank you, Sandy, for showing us there, Cebo, uh, the big dish down there in Puerto Rico. Um, yes. So Fame Lab. Um, she can't hear us yet. Oh no, she can't. <laughs> give us a give her a sec so she can get her. While you continue to cut cards, uh, we want to thank Ryan Consell from Mad Art Lab for putting together uh, a lot of these uh, cards against astronomy for us. We have one hour left officially right now. This is the last hour of the broadcast. Share the link, donate, retweet, do science, do all the stuff. This is the last hour where you can make it happen. Uh, so we've got Sandy back. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Fame Lab? I think that's what. And of... and then if you can recreate your spiel with the baby avocado and the potato. She got muted. Oh, are you there, Sandy? She can't hear us for some reason. Ah, hello. Am I muted? No. Nope. No, I see our green line. Michael, can you hear us? I hear you fine. I don't hear our guest. Sandy! You may need to recycle the window. Nope. There she is. She's recycling. She's recycling. Um, I'm going to check up on this. We have 18,137. Remember, you can get a guest spot on Christiana's show, uh, in her story. Um, and you can get art from, uh, from Nettie from the previous segment. So donate, please. We'll be picking five random winners for the art and uh, $50 or more to get a spot in Christiana Ellis's. Um, her story. Uh, I don't know where the Bitcoin thing uh, is. The, the Bitcoin is, is over on another site. I okay. will check that uh, in a moment. Okay. Sandy, can you hear us? Yes. I had to leave and come back, but I can hear you very well now. Awesome. Awesome. So so uh, you had a FameLab presentation that Pamela uh, is, is very excited about. If you could, if you could uh, share that with us. Uh, sure. I'll send and you the link. Share, share with us about your experience in this because uh, I know this was kind of a wild ride. Um, yeah, where did I put my avocado? <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Things you hear at, in radio observatories, where did I put my avocado? Uh, we totally fell in love with avocados at the VLA in New Mexico, so this is not an unusual thing to hear, <laughs> believe it or not. We all know that space is just all right. potatoes and avocados. This is a baby avocado off my tree this morning. It's not really avocado season here yet. Oh my god, it's, it's a tiny baby. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. <laughs> it's not one of those delicious hot avocados. It's a Florida avocado. It's a different taste, but you know, it's still it still kind of looks like an asteroid, right? You know, you've kind of got it's lumpy. It's got, you know, some discolorations on it. It's not completely smooth. Uh, so Fame Lab, Fame Lab is sort of like American Idol, but for three-minute science talks. And it was started at the Science Festival in the UK as a way of getting really good speakers. Uh, and the elimination rounds became actually so popular that they became part of the Science Festival. So how can you encourage people of you know very young, I think mostly young people, to give engaging science talks to a general audience? And this has be proved so popular that it's spread from outside of the UK to the rest of the world. And we had some North American preliminaries in Houston in March as part of the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference. 
And so I showed up and I said, well, this will be a great learning experience. I'll get some practice giving a talk. Uh, I don't really expect to go anywhere. There's about 30 people who will show up and you know they'll have eliminations down to 10 and then only one will go on to the finals next year in DC. Um, yeah, so I showed up and they're like, ha ha, sequester, there's only eight of you, so you're all going on to, you know, the, the, the public competition on Wednesday night at this conference. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and they're like, oh yeah, and surprise, you're giving your talk first. And I'm like, okay, I haven't really practiced except in my drive down, uh, down from Houston to uh, Clear Lake. Sure. So I gave a talk and it went over really well. And then other people gave their talks and I said, gosh, I think this is going to go a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> and so I went to Trader Joe's the morning before and I got an avocado. We don't have Trader Joe's in Puerto Rico. It's a travesty. But I have avocados growing in my backyard, so it's not so bad. And I got a sweet potato, not unlike this one. This Ooh. one actually looks like Asteroid 1996 HW1, um, and one of my hallmates uh, did some modeling in CAD software. He photographed it from a bunch of different angles, and he made a 3D model of it, and he put an asteroid texture on it, and next I know they're going to be like turning that into radar images, and I... You've made yeah. an asteroid. No, no, no. That, that, that looks a lot more like Asteroid 6771. I'm almost certain. I'll, I'll, do we even have a shape model of that one? I, I, in my imagination, I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, I could talk about asteroids all day. So. So we were wondering, you had to come up with this great three-minute presentation to compete, and we were wondering if you could share with our audience the science you do as you work to protect the Earth from potential oncoming asteroids, um, and ways that we can detect, uh, ways that we can deter them. If you if you can't recreate that, it's fine. I, just... I would be happy. Hold on one second. Okay. I would be happy to do. That. Cue I just that want up. To, uh, say no, oh, the other thing about sorry. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's commenting. We've completely lost track in the comment tracker. You guys are all really excited, uh, donating a bit more to get the pop art. Uh, sh uh, sharing the Spreadshirt link and uh, asking about Milinkovitch cycles. Uh, we will get touch on that all. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, and Valar Kojitis. Uh, so yes, we, your 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 comments have been scrolling past. We really appreciate you commenting and being there. Sorry, we can't get to them all. Uh, so go ahead, Sandy. <laughs> So um, the other thing was that when I was giving my fame live talk the f during the, the final night at the conference in front of everyone, the gentleman who went first pretty much gave the talk I intended to give. So if you watch the video, which is online, um, it's a uh, I'm kind of a little uh, uncomfortable. So what would be easier? Do you want me to give it live, or should I uh, should I send you? Should I send you the URL of my talk? Can you uh, give it live? Maybe. I can give it live. Um, what 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 would you all prefer? I, I think live would allow me to keep cutting out cards against yes. astronomy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so the recent so this was back in March. It was about a month after the meteorite exploded over Russia, mm -hmm. and there was that February flyby of asteroid DA14, and this showed us that potentially hazardous asteroids aren't just science fiction. Indeed, we're surrounded by rowdy asteroids, and we're in a cosmic shooting gallery. So how do we find these asteroids before they find us? So Ross, who had gone first in FameLag, he, he focused on how to deflect them. And I talked a little bit more about finding them. So every night, telescopes run by amateur astronomers or robotic astronomers open up and they look for moving objects. And the orbits of these asteroids are computed and we see if these are asteroids that have already been discovered or maybe they're a satellite that we've been put into space. And there's, of course, some uncertainty in the orbit. Uh, and if there's an object's going to come to hit us, it's very hard with an optical telescope for no, for, to know for sure, because optical telescopes only measure the motion of the asteroid on the sky, moving like that. So it's very hard to see if the asteroid's moving away from us or coming towards us. So this is where radar comes in. Arecibo Observatory, where I work, isn't just home to James Bond supervillains or Jodie Foster scientist character from Contact, though her 
dealing with trying to get funding for her project is a very oh. familiar refrain. <laughs> and it's also home to the world's most powerful planetary radar transmitter system and also the most powerful radar receiver. So radar works by sending out powerful pulses of light at asteroids in space and then listening for the echoes with a very sensitive receiver. So we know how fast the speed of light is so we can send out this pulse of radio waves and wait for the echo to come back and so we know how long it is so we know how far this asteroid is. And when the echoes are received you're able to figure out how far away with precision and accuracy these asteroids are and because of Doppler shift, yay Doppler, you can figure out are they moving away from us or are they coming towards us, oh goodness. And so if the rock is bent on a collision course with Earth, you can start thinking, what do we do? But to figure out what to do with an asteroid, you have to figure out what it's made of. A lot of asteroids look like lumpy space potatoes. Uh, they're oblong, but they don't necessarily have barcodes on them from Trader Joe's saying, oh, this is a sweet potato from Puerto Rico, or that's a russet potato from Idaho, if you're into nightshades. So what you do is you take your optical telescope, or your radar telescope, and you point at the asteroid, and it will say, okay, this asteroid is lumpy, this one's brown, it has craters, but I'm not going to talk to you about space potatoes, no, I'm going to talk, they're not very exciting, I want to talk to you about space avocados. Now, space avocados, bear with me, are a much more interesting problem because they're a lot like the most dangerous asteroids that are shiny and dark. So why are they dangerous? They're metallic. Uh, they're made out of metal. They're very dense. So what happens if a shiny, dark, metallic asteroid is going to come hit Earth and make the Earth wholly into guacamole? That would be a big problem. So what do you do? You can't just send Bruce Willis up there with a drill bit. He's going to be unable to drill through the asteroid. So what you can do is you can take a spacecraft and do something a little less violent than blowing up a big metal asteroid into a bunch of little asteroids that are going to still come hit you. And you can either nudge it out of the way with your spacecraft, or you can even paint it white. So it's really exciting living in the 21st century, and knowing it's no longer science fiction to be able to deflect these asteroids, it's science reality. And the best thing is that we can protect Earth, and Earth is the only planet that we know of that can grow sweet potatoes or avocados. And if anyone wants to come down to Puerto Rico, we've got more of these than we know what to do with. Please come visit. Oh, here I think that guacamole is worth more than the price of gold sometimes. <laughs> so thank you, Sandy. That was really awesome. And having seen what an amazing speaker you are at LPSC, we are working to suck you into CosmoQuest. And I know Nicole is assimilating you into our weekly space hangout. Yes. Yes. So and uh, come Dr. see Mark Sandy. What's that? Yeah, and uh, Mark Francis is trying to convince me to do something in the fall for you guys, you all. Ooh, Cosmo Academy. Awesome. Awesome. There's only like a dozen of us who understand radar, right? So. That's right. That's right. And then, and then we, yes, and then we yell at Fraser for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, see, uh, Weekly Space Hangout on Fridays at uh, noon Pacific. Sandy is uh, one of our space journalists and uh, my, my radio astronomy sister. So, <laughs> Woot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and uh, we we uh, we're we're happy that we found you and that you're friendly. I've, I'd known you before that, and uh, I just hadn't realized uh, how good you were on stage. <laughs> Pamela only knew me as a good source of gossip. <laughs> that's well, that's not entirely true. It's partially true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. right. So what are we doing? We are, first I'm looking up to see how much has been donated. Um, going to the correct website. If I donate $100, do I get a meteorite? We're past that point. It, you might get a dark sky uh, kit that includes a dark sky light meter. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man, we're stalled at 18,162. That's almost okay. as much as a grad student makes in a year. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It is true. We have funded the grad student. Um, so let me see where we are in Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, the grad students here, unfortunately, don't make as much. Oh. Yeah. Um, so we have passed the feed the Joe point. <laughs> so that that's really exciting. 
Um, but, oh, we got in more Bitcoin. We are now up to 4,000, for, not 4,000, 400, $474.67 on Bitcoin. So we do accept Bitcoins if you're somewhere that you don't want to use PayPal. Um, someone squeak. Uh, someone's microphone squeak. So that puts us add. at uh, a little over 18.5. 18. 18. Yeah, almost 18.6. Yeah, 18.6. Um, so 18.6. Can you donate just another fourteen hundred dollars? Make it twenty thousand. Make it even. Make it even. Make all this thirty-two hours of being awake and all that <laughs> worth it. Please donate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Timothy Legauer is my uh, significant other who has joined us and has been running the green room and has been. Um... That helped to run the green room. Yes. But when you're not running the green room, you were doing other stuff. You just haven't slept. That's true. So you have been, uh, so, uh, yeah, you've been with us the whole time. And uh, you were invested in Cosmo Quest through me, at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yay. So um, we are try I'm trying to figure out how to move enough stuff that we can bring in the programmers. Oh, dear. We have Joe and Corey here in the space. Hello. Set in the programmers. Yeah, send us programmers. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is there a Sondheim song about that? On these side things. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I learned in one of the early hours. You kept making fun of me for knocking stuff over. That oh was my why. gosh. <laughs> so, so you may have heard a loud series of bumps <laughs> during the beyond the wall part of the show, and that was when I tripped put my weight on the arm and the arm flipped open and I got my big toe caught in my pant leg and I almost took out Nicole. So we had a moment of abject chaos. Um, Hardy Spock has been with us the entire time <laughs> along with Katie Will Wheaton. And then of course we have the unnamed turtle and Chuck the squirrel. Get the duck! Squirrel! Squirrel who has come with me for teacher professional development. Tomorrow! Ugh, ow. <laughs> okay. So Ash, I don't have anything that exciting in this office. <laughs> all right, you guys all can. So is this the part of the program where we trip over things and can't yeah. stop laughing? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's like every observing run around here. Yeah. Well. Hey, it's a programmer. Hi. Can you push the, the newscaster's bench this direction? It's just like very cheap container to target, but you have to push the middle one. Ah. Okay. Playroom. That's awesome. Okay, and now I can move back the camera. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. You have to get everybody in. Yep. So we have been here for ages. And while you guys have largely been off camera while Nicole and I uh, got punch drunk for science, um, you guys have been mad at work on coding and you determined that trying to put a new site live while using the old site was probably a bad idea. So you will be seeing the new site um, after I've slept and can go over it with the guys because I couldn't actually do that while talking to you. <laughs> but um, so tell us about what you guys have been up to in the last 24 hours. Um, well, we have uh, all the new stuff that we've added. <laughs> Pretty much working. Um, CosmoQuest.org. Yes. <laughs> Oh, sorry, the good. difficulty has been in um, integrating that back into the new site with the blog and all that kind of stuff actually uh, working while all the new stuff is added. And uh, it hasn't really cooperated. <laughs> oh, we have another microphone there. Do you want to grab that one too? Sure, but where's the. Uh... I don't know where Okay. <laughs> so when the I'll code doesn't, when the code doesn't cooperate, isn't that called job security? 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so the part you're missing is we actually have the, I, I have fired programmers before. The way programmers get fired, and these guys have never run this risk, is if Pamela has to pull two all-nighters to do your job that you did not get done and told me you would get done more than once, multiple times with me haranguing you, and I still end up pulling those two all-nighters, then you uh, lose your job. Oh my god. <laughs> And the room becomes I very just quiet. Make the stuff work. I mean, I might do it in such a way that I'm the only one that can ever make it work because job security. But yeah, it still works. It's kind of everything that Joe does, but <laughs> yeah, it still works though. Works beautifully. Yup. Yup. Why did we give the quiet guys the microphones? <laughs> Are we playing the game? What are we yeah, doing? I'm gonna play the game. I'm trying to figure out how to not destroy my desk. <laughs> All right, so uh, keep sending out that link. Keep helping us out with the Bitcoin, with the real coin. We just got another five hundred dollars, so eighteen thousand six hundred and sixty-two oh, so in 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 real people money. <laughs> and then the Bitcoin is another four hundred on top of that, so that's a nineteen thousand. Let's get one thousand more. We have 36 minutes left. You can totally make that happen. Uh, remember, uh, $50 or more can get you a spot in in uh, Christiana's show, and uh, we'll pick one of those random winners for the for the nutty pop art. The nutty pop art. Um, and uh, if you want to donate later, we'll still have this link open, and all the great artists that have helped us out and are offering um, are offering some percentage of their sales will will still be going on. We will collect all of that at the end uh, as well, and and share that out. So thank you guys for that. I'm checking Next. on the Bitcoin. Okay, she's checking, checking on, on the, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So we're still at uh, four hundred seventy five dollars in bitcoins. So that's 4.761 bitcoins. Um, so she needs a mic. Oh, so we're, we've had 4.761 bitcoins uh, donated. That corresponds to $474.67 at the current exchange rate. Um, so adding numbers. I have to open adding up the other page. Adding numbers in um, I just need to see what it's at right now. So we have white cards, we have black cards we need to play. Between each round, we will check the donations. If we break $20,000, I saw that you brought a bottle of wine. I did. Where, do we still have that, Tim? You want to awesome. go find the bottle of wine? It, it, it was opened last night to get me to relax after uh, the, the massive setup <laughs> we had last night. So does this card game involve spin the bottle? No. God, no. Okay, good, 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 good. good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, that type of like hangout. That's incest. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yuck. We're a family. We're a Cosmo Quest family. <laughs> Okay, so we're at $18,662 and broken. Um, so 18662 plus 474 puts us over the 19000 mark. We're getting there so close. Let's hand out cards. Okay, so we have black cards. Point the mic at her. <laughs> We have black cards sitting on the trackpad. We have white cards. I, I think we have just enough to hand out the 10 each. I don't know. I've only played once. And it was okay, with astronomers. We'll find out as we go. No 10? Oh, no, he's getting off. oh, he's getting the bottle of wine. Yes. Mm. He's out this round. It's okay. I would say he doesn't know astronomy, but neither does Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Roman knows because I have been putting him to work at the Edwardsville Star Parties. Uh, <laughs> I have him helping with the telescopes and, and doing the sky tours, and so he is learning quite a bit of astronomy along the way. And hey, so you while, know, while Pamela is dealing, can you describe this game? Uh, so, uh, Cards Against Humanity, it's, it's, I don't know if you've ever played but Apples to Apples. Corey. Explain. Okay. Corey, Corey, Corey explains. is the game master in this group. All right, sure. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, each person takes turns being the... Card czar. Sure. Um, this the Meister. person will pick a black card, and this black card will say something that will 
provoke a response from the other players. Corey, can we go like can we get a high level explanation of what this game is? Can you compare it to apples to apples? It's apples to apples uh, with, with sarcasm. Yes, there you go. It's apples, apples to, to apples. Apples to apples if your friends are terrible people and the uh, apples are poisoned uh, and have razor blades. Yes, usually, yeah. That's that's pretty much what Cards Against Humanity is. We're making it a little more um, uh, presentable to the public, uh, in this case, with astronomy-related things. You haven't read than... the cards, have you? I've read a few of them. Okay. <laughs> They're not as bad. And we're going to have Corey, who is the man behind making our entire site work, draw the first black card. Okay. They're on the, the mouse pad. The secret ingredient of an intergalactic warp drive is blank. Avocados. Okay. <laughs> All right, they're going to pick answers, and they're going to try to pick the the phrase that I will most enjoy. So I am going to pick the uh, the best response, and then that person will basically get a point. So you don't necessarily want to pick the best card. You want to pick the best card for the person that asked the the question. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go with my gut. I think that's... I have a gut full of Oreos. That's everyone. <laughs> um, does he need cards now? No, he's for the next one? No? Okay. All right. So the secret ingredient for an intergalactic warp drive is... The pauses in William Sh the pauses in a William Shatner speech. <laughs> the secret ingredient of an intergalactic warp drive is huffing rocket fuel. The secret ingredient of an intergalactic warp drive is pooping into a tube. <laughs> I am going to go with the pauses in a William Shatner speech. That's a good one. Yeah. That was that was excellent. That. Well done, Joe. <laughs> All right. Nicole? Oh, I get to pick? Yep. All right. All my cards. I can't. I have little hands. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you're right. A new planet was just discovered. What should it be named? CosmoQuest. <laughs> Avocado. I should note that uh, in addition to this game, we also played um, uh, Disser Mad Libs, where we. Um... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can we do PowerPoint karaoke for the next? We played uh... dissertation Mad Libs, where we blocked out uh, words in our in our dissertation abstracts, and uh, <laughs> we just you know had to yell out random words after being sufficiently inebriated. And uh, I, it was it was it's so improved on my my dissertation abstract, especially with the inebriation. Um, okay, so uh, a new planet was just discovered. What should it be named? Funding cuts. <laughs> oh. Science. <laughs> a new planet was just discovered. What should it be named? Sputnik. Uh, even though it makes me want to cry, I'm going to have to go with funding cuts. I'll bet you that was Joe! <laughs> oh, Sequestered! Oh. Sequestered! <laughs> so to save us from the planet funding cuts, donate! So we can open the wine when we reach 20,000 in 29 minutes. And we need that wine. We're at 18,697 plus oh 400 something. I'm opening Excel so I can't. We, we will keep drinking wine until the show is over if you get us $20,000. This may be more entertaining than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay, worst thing for an astronaut to hear from Houston. Oops. I wish I had a card holder right in front of the camera, kind of like for Scrabble tiles, so those of us at home could play along. <laughs> okay, what is it again? Worst thing for an astronaut to hear from Houston. <laughs> budget cuts. Yeah, that budget cuts. <laughs> well, there was that Russian astronaut who got stranded in orbit. <laughs> 
that, that seems just horrible. Well, he started Soviet. Oh. <laughs> oh. So. Point, point yeah. Your PhD thesis? <laughs> Worst thing for an astronaut to hear from Houston. Your PhD thesis. That might bore them a bit. I know mine would. Getting abducted again. <laughs> Worst thing for an astronaut to hear from Houston? Crashing a lander due to a metric conversion error. No, but I'm going to have to go with the getting abducted again because it's that again part. It's like the petunias falling in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. One now, what, we're, what we really need there is a card that oh, says, right. um, the, <laughs> the last thing an astronaut wants to hear is that we're not letting you land until we meet our $20,000 goal. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Let's do it. Excel did not open. There we go. 18697 plus Bitcoin plus Bitcoins. Come on, people. All right. I'm going to be so sad. On camera. If not, it's all mine. No! Wait, I live with you. It's fine. Uh, okay. What do astronauts do just before lunch? Launch. Launch, yes. I'm, I, I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't use that one. Do it. Make sure you're at 10 cards. I failed. No, okay. I, you haven't given it to me. <laughs> I've been just taking them. Oh, okay. So, so what was the question again? What do astronauts do just before launch? Yeah. Oh, man. I had the perfect card earlier. Well, welcome to Cards Against Humanity. I I seem to remember Al Shepard wanted to do something before launch. Didn't quite work out for him. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So, yeah, no, if we weren't live on the internet, I, I could actually be worse at these. Yeah, I'm not going to use the card I thought about using. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I do not pull punches. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's just what we could have said would be bad. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> There are things that are not rude unless used in specific contests. I withheld those contests. All right. What do astronauts do just before launch? Drawing a penis on Mars for science. Woo, Scott! <laughs> <laughs> it's been done, people. An enticing number of explosions. Experiencing the deep sensual pleasures of multivariate calculus. <laughs> that, wow. I, I gotta go with the explosions because I hate calculus. Yay! I got one. Let's explode calculus. Where are the okay. discard files? So Scott did that drawing? Yes, that was, he was part of it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, reloading the donate page and hey. we're back to Corey. Yep. Aliens arrive, and world leaders send welcome presents. What does the U.S. send? Yeah. Avocados. The donation is a stall at <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What, what was it? Read it again. Aliens arrive, and world leaders send welcome presents. What does the U.S. send? Because they're going to wait for too many You just numb the cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, can we have any comments coming in? Oh, maybe. I don't know. We lost track a while ago, <laughs> as I mentioned. Uh, let's see. We are stalled at 18,697, which when added with the Bitcoin strands is at 19,171. We can taste, we can taste one tenth of our gold. Mm. Get us to 10 percent. Nettie says, if it wasn't for science, we wouldn't have speculative fiction either. So, do it. I don't think okay. you've said what? one. No, no, no. So, so. Or do we have one? Oh. Yeah, what was the question? Aliens arrive, and world leaders send welcome presents. What does the U.S. send? Okay. Let's see. All right. The U.S. the U.S. sends 
riding Neil deGrasse Tyson's mustache. <laughs> it's not bad. Being anally probed. Ew. How do you sense that? And a robot that only sings David Bowie songs. <laughs> I'm going to go with the robot. I blame that on being the newest member of the team. <laughs> okay, you'll catch up over time. <laughs> okay, so I need a black card. Could you grab that? Nom. All right. Oh. History claims it was his astronomy that got Galileo in trouble with the church. In truth, it was... What got Galileo in trouble with the church, for real? It wasn't astronomy. It was far worse. So how much do I have to donate to get an avado uh, avocado card? 1,000. Wait, a what? Oh. <laughs> avocado card? An avocado oh, card. Just... If I knew what an avocado card was... One more. Oh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it because I know it's you. Uh-oh. I'm going to mix them up now. I don't you know who said what. Okay. History claims it was his astronomy that got Galileo in trouble with the church. In truth, it was a hidden stash of comic books. Staring at the sun. Or the first porno filmed in space. It's the first porno filmed in space. <laughs> Pamela does no... Oh, wrong card. This one. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela that. knows knows me well. I watch a video that explain why that would be kind of difficult. <laughs> <laughs> We're not screen sharing that one. Sorry. Unless you make twenty thousand dollars. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh wait, where are the where are the cards? I here. You get the last one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Um, but before we move on, I'm gonna check to see do we have more donations. We continue to be stalled at 18,697. 19 minutes left. And you get art and science and all the crazy things. OK. Planet X has been proven to be entirely composed of So we have spent 31 hours bringing you science, uh, at least one hour bringing you amusement and a game that we can share out with you. So we've used this time to produce a product. Uh, we have uh, created content that will become a library of YouTube videos. <sighs> we are within $900 of where we want to be. Um, yeah. Donate. Are you cards? I'm go oh, right. I have the microphone, don't <laughs> I? Okay, so Planet X has been proven to be entirely composed of Sulu's underwear after a four minute cheesy monster fight. Mm. <laughs> Planet X has been proven to be entirely composed of a man in a lab coat arguing with a squirrel. <laughs> Planet X has been, entire has been proven to be entirely composed of. A pale blue dot. I'm going to go with a pale blue dot. Yeah. Nibiru. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that makes it my turn. Okay. Yep. What would you take on a one way trip to Mars? Pamela Gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I've a card that's perfect, but not for you, but I'm going to use it anyway. Oh. All right, all right. What would you take on a one? Hold this. <laughs> 
would you take on a one-way trip to Mars? Genitalia unrestrained by the forces of gravity. Cthulhu stirring, stirring in his deep slumber. <laughs> the Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's simple and elegant. I gotta go with the Dutch. <laughs> really? You weren't Cthulhu? No, that was me. It was a perfect card to play to Corey. <laughs> Next Mars landing protocol nickname. So I guess I'll, I'll I'll rephrase that. What is the next Mars landing's protocol nickname? Da da da. Time's ticking. Let's go with that one. Okay. What is the next Mars landing protocol nickname? A white dot in the sky that is very obviously an alien spacecraft. Weather balloon. <laughs> Dying alone in the cold, silent vacuum of space. <laughs> And farting in a spacesuit. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I'm going to go with dying alone in the cold, silent vacuum of space. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> and we got in a $100 donation. We are now up to $19,201.67. Um, Come on. Yeah. So, me? <laughs> Oh, ha ha. SETI finally gets a signal. What do the aliens say? Oh, thank you. All right, so we have, what is that, 800 left? $800 for science? Yeah. And you get the silly game? Oh, okay. I love the giggling. That is my favorite part of these games, is the giggling as you get these blank backwards cards handed to you. All right, so SETI finally gets the signal. What do the aliens say? Conspiracy! <laughs> Enjoying space is just a little too much fun. <laughs> Scientology! Scientology wins! <laughs> Oh, conspiracy was a very close second, though. That was good, but Scientology, man. <laughs> People here ask, "Do I work with the? Do we listen to aliens? Do we talk to aliens?" And I say, "Have you met my coworkers?" <laughs> so we are at nineteen thousand two hundred and one point six seven dollars, and holding with fourteen minutes to go. And the secret to faster than light travel is. <laughs> I love watching Corey. <laughs> he just like got this jittery giggle. It was awesome. This is how horrible it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we have the secret to faster than light travel is sneaking liquor into the space shuttle. Oh no! <laughs> okay, the secret to faster than light travel is the Challenger explosion. Too soon! Too soon! Um, <laughs> I know. Someone made that card. That's, that's <laughs> what do you need to remember here? The secret to faster than light travel is space babes. I, I'm going to go with sneaking liquor onto the space shuttle. <laughs> that was the wrong part. Okay, your turn. I guess I can hurry up. Oh, God. It's a tour. It's a two parter. Okay. Astronomers discover a new blank shaped nebula. They have named it blank. Uh, what 
the one you put so that it, it, you put the two together, so the one that gets read first is the first blank. The first one is face down on the bottom. I'll turn them up. <laughs> put them on Corey's leg or something. Yeah. <laughs> Can you read it again? No. Astronomers discover a new blank shaped nebula. They have named it blank. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Can we get the whole thing here? That hurts. Okay. <laughs> Astronomers discover a new uh, the the void shaped nebula. They have named it Smelling Bill Nye's Hair. <laughs> Astronomers discover a new rings around Uranus shaped nebula. They have named it Zero G Coitus. Astronomers discovered a new throwing an Ewok into the into a lake of liquid fart shaped nebula. They have named it explosive decompression. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, please, I, please, please donate so we can end this. I, I gotta go with throwing an Ewok into a lake of liquid fart and explosive decompression. <laughs> Ten bucks. I'll give you each a hug, or not give you a hug, whichever you prefer. <laughs> you will hug you if you don't donate. <laughs> I will hunt you down. <laughs> what is humanity's greatest accomplishment? It's Corey. <laughs> I'll accept that as an answer. Humanity's greatest accomplishment is an extinction level event. <laughs> We're good at those. Wow. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin punching a guy in the face and Carl Sagan. Oh, wow, man. I think we have a tie. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Carl Sagan. I win a card finally! <laughs> That means I don't get fired. <laughs> uh, do I go? Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a, it, it's a, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's... Blank. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Okay. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's geostationary orbit. <laughs> it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's the vomit comet. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's the great red spot. I'm going with vomit comet. Yay! Vomit comet. Woo! All right. Oh, who's next? I am. I'm going to check their uh, check our donations. So, so the I don't know what the correct emotion is. The anxiety in the room is actually palpable as we watch the donations stop coming in with eight minutes no. to go. So I'm going to have to ask, what's the best thing to do in zero G? Because right now we're in free fall. Donate to CosmoQuest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have four cards left. None of them are fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. What was it? Flip it over. What's the best thing to do in zero G? Yeah, my good cards for that are gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You want to see if we have any good comments? So we're, uh, do we have a mic? So uh, comments coming in, uh, we have Citizen Golds will pledge $5 a week times 4.3 weeks a month times 6 months, adding an extra 129. So he's doing math, uh, okay. saying that he's going to continue to pledge. Uh, so the girls are definitely punchy. Uh, Joshua Warner says, you can't get rid of us that easily. Uh, yeah, we are going to go to bed after this. Uh, they're answering in there. Um, the aliens say, hey, you are the alien. Uh, does the count include the matching money that got offered earlier? I think those that have come in have been included. I don't know if all those matches have been included. I don't know if Sigler has donated. Yet. Uh, if A was on top of it, I would say it was, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, A Sigler, if you're out there, let us know if you already donated. So Comment in the YouTube. The or not. Here, have some more money for David Bowie singing. <laughs> Uh, where can we get an SIUE t-shirt that, uh, that Joe is wearing? Uh, SIUE. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for a $50 pledge, the shirt off his back. Ooh. Donate fifty or hundred dollars, I'll send you one. I'll make sure he washes it. With what Citizen Gold pledged, we're now up to $19,330.67. That leaves us with $669.33 to go. If you come visit Arecibo, I'll give you the VIP tour for, I don't know, a $20 pledge? $20 pledge and you visit Arecibo. <laughs> there you go. You gotta get down here. Flights are cheap in the spring. That's true. Okay, so I'm gonna answer this question because it's easier than having an anxiety attack. Um, <laughs> what's the best thing Pamela, to do with your G? You. Dehydrated ice cream. Yeah, I'm allergic. Uh, what's the best thing to do in zero G? Spending a long, lonely night with the telescope. It has its, it has its benefits. <laughs> What's the best thing to do in zero G? Seven minutes of terror. And you know, if at the end you end up landing on the surface of Mars, I'll go with that one. So I'm going to say that's the best thing to do in zero G. Woo! That's me. <laughs> I got two. I got two. We uh, have four minutes of terror until the Google feed times out. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. So uh, Sylvan Westby says he's tired. He's given more than he can spare. If you people can, please give. The rest is going to have to come from elsewhere. Google, SpaceF, NSF, any rich people's humanist foundation. Uh, <laughs> says Google's got to owe us something since we are fueling one of the, the, the largest community on their social network. So, so we're now up to $19,420.67. So we are now $500 and 23 cents away. Before the stream gets completely killed, I, I'm going to say thank you to everyone for thank donating, you. helping, retweeting, appearing on the show, offering to um, give us, to match donations, to give away things, to give us a part of your proceeds of, of your art. Uh, and I'm going to call Sigler and find out if you have Okay. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for all of that. Um, Thank you to, to Michael, to Tim, to Ray, uh, to Corey and Joe for working throughout the night. Are we still in the middle of a round? No. Okay. We're looking for a pledge flurry here. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes for the pledge yeah. for your flurry. And then the I feed got goes two. by. Who won? I have five. Oh, Corey beat me. I have one. I have four. He had five. Woo. Corey won. Yeah. Corey won. Yes, Corey is, is our game master. Um, so thanking everybody again for helping us out, for sticking with hey, us. Sigler. We have Sigler on the phone. I'm doing well. So we're trying to figure out with three minutes to go. Have you guys sent in your match yet? We're trying to figure out where we are. Now why couldn't we make this call at three in the morning? I don't know. That would have made sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me call A then. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Wait, you didn't call A first? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We, we will That's a rookie we'll mistake. They cut us off before we find the answer to this. So stay tuned. Uh, we will come back with the answer. Um, we will not stick around for the whole four hours. I have, I have educational professional development to do starting at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> Babe. Oh, you poor, poor dear. Uh, 
that's a lie. Do okay. I have Ace phone number? Oh, yeah. hold! I have all the skeptic phone numbers. Two minutes. No, Where no are you seeing the death of the hangout number? Okay. Well, I was just watching the clock. Remember, you had to take a significant amount of time to hang out. It's true. You yeah. probably got like 10 minutes. So you're hoping for a few extra seconds of grace? So we got another... We got another ten dollars. We're up to nineteen thousand four hundred and thirty dollars and sixty-seven cents. And I just got an email from someone asking me for donations. There's irony in that. <laughs> oh man. So we either so if A already sent in the donation, then we have. $569.23 to go. Otherwise, we're over. So this is down to you, Sigler. We're taking the money out of your pocket. <laughs> they already sent in their match. Okay, so we have... Oh, Richard said uh, we're getting updates on the site. Um, we are at, the numbers are going up, this is a good thing. We are at $19,520.67. Will someone donate something that ends in 23 cents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is that a PayPal fee? That's... The bitcoins. I haven't checked the Bitcoins in a few minutes. It is now the top of the hour. I feel like we're waiting for a space spacecraft to deploy. We're at the five minute mark. We are at 4.761 Bitcoin still, and the value of the Bitcoin uh, has changed. Okay, let's add in the new. No, it, it gave us <laughs> gave us an extra buck. Um, exchange rates, exchange rates. Uh, so we're now at nineteen thousand five hundred and twenty-one and sixty-two cents. The tension in the room is palpable. This is actually like the energy is worse than when we were watching Mars Lander land. Mar <laughs> so. Okay, so, so we already have the match. This means we are just four hundred and seventy nine dollars and twenty three cents. Thirty eight cents now. We are short uh oh man, doing math. Interjecting We are currently short. Four hundred and seventy-eight dollars and thirty-eight cents. Four hundred and seventy-eight dollars and seventy-eight cents away from twenty thousand. Really? Are you serious? Pamela, do you want a few Ziggler? An egg? <laughs> <laughs> We we just got another ten dollars from the crowd, and oh my gosh, I love Scott and A so much. We are at twenty thousand thanks to the generosity hey. of our future dark overlord himself. I will narrate anything you guys want. My voice is yours for free. Whenever you want it, that offer does not close. We need a balloon drop. <laughs> uh, we can throw up the cards <laughs> against astronomy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we, I can't throw things without losing my hat. We did it. We hit... $20,000.
We have a long way to go to make our program work, but this gets us going towards that goal. We are opening the wine, and Google is going to lock us off. Hey, guys. Thank you, everyone hey guys. who donated. You're going to be getting personal letters from me as I'm able to get through them this week. I got a question. Thank you. I got, I got, a, I got a question. Come on. Come on. No, we can just... It's alcohol. Okay, we're going to be... Hey, guys. Drink. <laughs> Pamela, Nicole, what are you guys doing next weekend? Sleeping. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yes, it is. We are going to starting 8 a.m. tomorrow at two different schools. Why are we bypassing Joe? At two different schools, we're doing professional development. I will be in the East St. Louis schools, and you will be? I will be at Whiteside Middle School for uh, five, all five days this week from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. doing science with middle school teachers. And so, uh, yay, we got 20,000. I can go to sleep a little easier now, so thank you, everybody. Thanks again to Sigler and Dark Overlord Media for, for filling in that gap for us. This, this has been an amazing experience. Do you guys have anything you want to add? Thank you, Sigler. <laughs> Thank you, Sigler. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> so thank you we are going to end this and finish this bottle of wine but we will use glasses but I know Google's about to end us we aren't going to drink with our Google glass we're going to find the good glass downstairs thank you thank you for sticking by us thank you for believing in us thank you for supporting us we, we won't we will make you proud we will produce these videos out in segments for you to watch and enjoy for all of posterity <laughs> So thank you, and we'll see you on the other side. Our next event is going to be Astronomy Cast, probably tomorrow. Topic is yet to be determined.